Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Stalingrad, the legendary town that rose like a phoenix from the ashes after having stopped the iron machine of Nazism. Today, I want to show you the celebrations of Victory Day during the pandemic of COVID-19. Here, boxing. I want, <laughs> I want our coach to take us outside too for a run or for maybe running every day. Some people decorated their windows. You can see how many people are celebrating the Victory Day today here. Everything looks so beautiful, but at the same time the streets are so empty. And this street, it leads to the Mamad Kurgan, to the Valkyrie Arena, to the Victory Park. I've never seen it so empty before on this day. Oh, someone, someone even has some balloons. I want to show you the balloons. And I hear my phone getting messages. My phone is constantly getting messages because now everyone is congratulating each other. I do not know whether the area the part of the parade will take place because the weather is the weather is not good today. You can see. It seems that the nature itself doesn't want us to leave our homes. Because just a few days ago the weather was so good, um, my little Nina took out of the wardrobe all her summer clothes, all her summer shorts, t-shirts, she took her bicycle and we went outside. And now the weather is very bad. I even had to put on my jacket because I read that it was cold and that it was going to rain and now I'm approaching the Valgotorita yesterday when I saw these these borders these special things I was sure that today it would be closed but as you can see no it's not closed that maybe it will be closed later or something like this and the Mamad Kurgan is closed it is officially closed today the park of the Victory near it is, is also officially closed and we were inf informed about it That's, that is why we know that we shouldn't go there oh I can see the army and the police the park is officially closed, the Mamayev Kurgan is officially closed. It is not allowed to park near it and not allowed to try to get closer to the Motherland Coast. Even though you can see that it's allowed to walk near the border. Oh, and I see, I see them. I was afraid that the weather won't let them fly I saw them there yesterday and I can see them now the helicopters are first children are impressed to its eastern part there you know our city is such a long a long stripe near the Volga river the second part I think I 
saw these helicopters yesterday too. going to fly very low I saw it yesterday and maybe it's a problem for them maybe all these clouds are a problem for them now I see the planes get them if I throw something. Third pair of the planes. Everyone is trying to film them. you could see it in my winter videos when we were trying to get to that hill and that entrance is also closed as you can see it was all and now everyone is leaving People are leaving the square. And it was the end of the first part of the celebrations today. There is going to be a parade at this, the square of the fallen warriors, but I'm sure that there is no one allowed to come even close to this parade. I wanted to go to the opposite side, but I see the policeman looking so strictly at me I'm not sure that I really want to You can see the congratulations and special posters about 
the victory day there I want to show you some social advertising and this is it the participants if you look there a little bit farther you will see a a poster with a portrait of a local participant of the Great Patriotic War of the Stangrad Battle. His photos from that time and now. And the whole city is decorated with such posters, with such advertising. I'm still not sure that I want to go there. You can't go. And there is even some information about the reasons of this situation. Today the weather is specific. We didn't expect it. And yesterday the weather forecast told us that we would be surprised, impressed by the weather on the 9th of May this year because most of the time the weather is good and even if it rains it doesn't matter because last year it rained but I was wearing a dress and I was walking with naked shoulders outside. You can watch my videos from the previous year. Yesterday I was riding my bicycle and now it seems to me that I'm ill <laughs> because I was riding my bicycle late in the evening and today I hear that there is something with my voice and yesterday after that ride I had a running nose I may not be scared, it, it is not coronavirus or something like this it's just a light cold I can see people hanging the flag. These people are trying to decorate their windows. It was very unusual for me to see the decorated empty streets on this day. I love the atmosphere of this holiday that is especially important for every citizen of Stalingrad. We are all somehow connected with the Stalingrad battle and the Second World War. This bloody page of the world's history is always a page of the history of our own families. One of the greatest battles was performed on these very streets where I walk every day and film for you. I love the atmosphere of happiness and unity on this day. But this year the empty streets looked gloomy and abandoned, and the locals were disappointed and sad. family holiday. People walk in the streets, have fun together, visit their relatives and friends and take part in different activities. They visit exhibitions and performances, go to museums and bring flowers to the monuments. As everything was cancelled this year, we went back to the countryside to spend this day with our family. Nowadays their house in a Russian village is the only place where we can be free. It was very enjoyable for me to see all the decorations in the streets of Stalingrad. As I've already told you, this year the pandemic of COVID-19 has stolen our beautiful Stalingrad spring and the best holidays of the whole year. There is already more than 1,000 infected people in the Volgograd region. 13 of them died. We have to struggle instead of celebrating, and it is very sad. But we were unexpectedly lucky to be stopped by the police on our way home because of a small parade near the Mamayev Kurgan and had a chance to see it while waiting for the road to become opened again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Вот они едут! Ура! Эта машина присоединилась. А можно присоединяться? Нет, я думаю, нет. Так случилось просто. Смотри, какие девочки красивые, Нина. Корреспонденты. Смотрите, Санек. Это наши маршалы там. Да. День Победы. Этот день мы приближали как могли. Этот день Победы. Орхам пропах. Это праздник. Сединою на висках. Это радость. Смотрите, еще вон там идут КАМАЗы. За... Смотрите, сейчас поедут наша техника. День Победы. День Победы. Ура! Танки наши везут. Смотрите. Советские танки. Они их завели. За родину. Мама, Марина, Это, между прочим... Вот, мам, вперед отодвинулся. Да, камазики отодвинулись. I hope that you liked this vlog, my dearest friends. Thank you very much for watching. See you very soon in the next video. Please stay safe and take care of your nearest and dearest. I'm sending all my best wishes to you from Stalingrad. Thank you one more time for being with us. See you very soon. Bye-bye.